Hello everyone, welcome back to College Review Series by Akash. The NIT we are going to review today is definitely going to infuse a different level of energy by the name itself. I'm talking about National Institute of Technology, Goa. So come and explore with me its wonderful campus, courses, placements, fee structure, eligibility and trust me, a lot more. National Institute of Technology, Goa, was founded in 2010. As it is one of the 31 National Institute of Technology in India, the NIT is recognized as an institute of national importance. Now let's talk about its wonderful campus. NIT Goa has recently shifted to its new and permanent campus which was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 6th of Feb 2024. The NIT holds 90th rank in the engineering category by NIRF 2023. The campus includes three hostels for boys and one for girls and all are Wi-Fi enabled, a bank, medical facilities, canteen facilities, various complexes and a computer center, sports facilities such as badminton court, grounds for cricket, football, volleyball and basketball, and yes, along with a central library. For students' engagement and exposure, the NIT conducts quite a few fests annually. The annual Technocultural Festival Savyas is generally held in February. Other cultural activities include Freshers' Night, Institute Alumni Meet and Departmental Gatherings. Department also hold workshops, guest lectures and various competitions. Coming on to the courses at NIT Goa. The flagship programs offered at NIT Goa is its BTEC program, which is a four years program. At present, it has five programs with an intake of 38 students in each branch. The branches include Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. And the eligibility criteria for getting admission in one of these courses is same as all the NITs, as the NIT Goa admits the students for one of these BTEC courses on the basis of rank secured in Joint Entrance Exam JEE mean, and the results of marks obtained in Class 12 board examination with Science Stream with the subjects like Physics, Chemistry, and Maths. And 75% is the required percentage if you are a general category student. 65% is the required percentage for SC, ST or PWD category students. Further, the seats are allotted through JOSA counselling and CSEP special round. And for foreign students, they get admitted through DASA, direct admission of students abroad. Coming on to the fee structure now. The tuition fee at NIT Goa for BTEC program is 62,500 for general and OBC category students with family income more than 5 lakh rupee per annum. Whereas the tuition fee is 28,833 per semester for general and OBC category students with family income between 1 to 5 lakh per annum. At the very same time, the tuition fee is nil for general and OBC category students with family income less than 1 lakh. And the same is for SD, SC or PH category of students students as the tuition fee for them is also nil. Further, for general category students, the entire fee for the BTEC program is 5.3 lakh. And if you are opting for hostel and mess facilities, then you'll have to pay 2.5 lakh extra. Now it's time for placement statistics 2023. See, the training and placement cell of the institute takes complete responsibility to cater to the training and placement needs of its students. It invites companies for interview sessions, for pre-placements, for campus recruitment and for corporate interactions. More than 160 companies visited NIT Goa for the campus recruitment for the ninth batch, that is 2023. Talking about the placement percentage, the placement percentage of circuit branches such as CSE, ECE and Triple E was 100% with an average package approximately 13 lakh per annum with 95 placements in mechanical and approximately 43% in the civil engineering branch. As per the placement statistics, the highest package stood at 26 lakh per annum from the CSE branch with an overall average package of 11.45 LPA. So if we compare the placement statistics of the past three years, we can definitely notice a fluctuation in the average and highest packages obtained. Or in other words, there is a drop in the same last year. However, to be able to maintain 100% and placement percentage in itself is a remarkable percentage. Now let's talk about cutoff 2023 at NIT Goa. 
Seats reservation at NIT Goa is slightly different from all the other NITs as 40% seats are reserved for home state candidates and 10% seats are reserved for Dadra Nagar Haveli and Daman and Duke candidates and the remaining 50% seats are made available to the other states candidates. Let's have a look at the NIT Goa cutoff 2023. You can see the branch wise cutoff after the sixth round of JOSA counseling. Let's start with the civil engineering branch. The rank for candidates from Goa stopped at 1,14,874. For the home state, the closing rank stood at 47,155. And for other states, the same stopped at 62,197. For computer science and engineering branch, the rank cutoff for Goan candidates closed at 25,176. For home state candidates, it was 12,604. And for other state candidates, the same closed at 17,250, which means if you manage to secure a rank around 12,000, you can still get a CSE branch here as an other state candidate. Likewise, you can get an idea of your rank requirement in all the other branches. For category-wise cutoff, that is for SC, ST or EWS or for girl students, do check out the link given in the description. Imagine BTEC from NIT Goa. Goa, which itself is known for its beautiful beaches, vibrant culture and greenery all over the place, is definitely going to leave you with an experience of lifetime. Moreover, if you believe students' review on this NIT, then the college had some really experienced faculty providing internship and placement opportunities and well-equipped infrastructure. However, the students really need to put in their own efforts as well in order to get a good CGP by the end. And this is where you can change the whole game. Test the choice is all yours as this was all from me today. Now it's your turn to tell me what did you like the most about NIT Goa. So do press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.